Welcome back to Forest Side Cookery School. We're going to do some lovely fresh pasta today. We're going to do some lovely mushrooms, fresh eggs, some shallots, garlic, and we're going to introduce a wee bit of truffle oil in there too. So, um, trying to keep it to five items here, but we'll see what happens. People get a wee bit worried about making fresh pasta, think it's awfully complicated. It's not a bit complicated. It's flour, eggs, and oil. That's it, dead easy. First thing we do is we get 200 grams of flour, we put it into our bowl, simple as that. With your hand, or I even use a clean bottle, run a well right in the centre of the flour. So for every 100 grams of uh, flour, we use one egg yolk, so we're using two egg yolks. In goes our eggs, I'm using these fantastic free range eggs, beautiful eggs. They're blue, some people think they're duck eggs or not, they're hen's eggs, they're a fantastic egg. Um, I'm going to get two tablespoons of good olive oil. Doesn't have to be extra virgin oil, olive oil is cool. In goes the two tablespoons of olive oil with the eggs. Simple as that. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to whisk our egg yolks, like so. I'm going to introduce another egg here with the egg white at this stage. Do this, working away, and when I'm teaching this, I call this, it's just like making scrambled eggs, and what we start to do is, we start to introduce the flour to the egg yolk and the egg white, using a fork. You will look in there and you'll go, my goodness, that looks a bit strange, it's all lumpy and stuff, but what we do now is we turn that on our bench like so, like that, got our egg yolk there. If you find it's a bit dry, it's dead easy, all we do is add another wee bit of olive oil to it. Sometimes you'll find with the humidity and temperature of the room, things can change with flour and a good baker will tell you that too. So what we do here is we start working the egg, the oil and the flour together. Okay. So what we do is we work this here into a dough, we need it for about 10 minutes and then we wrap it in clean fill and then we let it rest in the fridge. Okay, so we've got some lovely mushrooms. That's a huge sataki mushroom, so I'm just gonna slice it down. Um, think about when you're using mushrooms, everybody, just remember that we don't go straight to the sink with our mushrooms and start soaking them and wash them in hot water or cold water at all, because mushrooms are so porous, they'll end up actually like a sponge, taking all the water in. So the whole thing is what you do is you just get yourself a little brush, brush the um, dirt off the mushrooms. I wouldn't generally use an onion when I'm um, cooking sh uh, dishes with um, what I call short cooking times. So when I um, want to use a large onions for meats for doing stews, casseroles, stocks, when I go to things like this, making a sauce, I'm using a shallot. Okay. Important about this onion is our shallot is the, sh the roots right there, the woody ends there, the woody end comes off, the root stays on. Um, too many people take that off and that's when the tears start. So point your knife, of course way through, straight like that. We should have this shape here. We turn our shallot round, we lay our knife flat, fingers tucked in and then we're coming through like so. Chop it up, always with your fingers tucked in. That's that done. Next thing we're going to do is get a bit of garlic. And what I'm going to do with my handy grater, which is really good, put my garlic through the grater like that. So the garlic, the shallot, and the mushroom is ready for the pan. And the next thing I'm going to show you how to make is a lovely simple sauce. So this carbonara sauce was just two egg yolks. Beat them slightly, like that. 100 milliliters of double cream. And it goes like so. Again, give it another wee bit up, make sure they're incorporated. Okay, next stage is we're going to get our pasta in the fridge, make our fresh pasta, get our lovely mushroom shallots and garlic cooking, and then we're going to bring it all together, put our pasta in here with our sauce, and then we'll have a lovely fresh pasta dish. Okay, so we've got our pasta in the fridge, rest it for a half an hour. Uh, you can look at the colour up, the pasta looks fantastic. That's those great egg yolks. And then we're going to give it a wee roll out, like that. You get a wee rough edge like I've got there. Just use your knife. It's simple. Cut it off like that. Roll the pasta out. I'm 
fortunate enough to have a machine here in the cookery school. But you could keep rolling by hand there and do it yourself and cut it into whatever shapes you want. What I would do is roll that until it's really thin. And then what you can do is you roll the pasta up like that. Get easy to make tag the And you cut it down like so into little ribbons. So we've got our pasta ready. We're actually now going to start cooking. So get yourself a good glug of olive oil in the base of your pan, okay? So you've got to be generous with the oil, okay? In goes your shallot and your garlic. Cook it over medium heat for you at home. Okay, and that goes. Get that lovely smell of garlic and shallot. It smells brilliant. So we're gonna cook them out for a few minutes until they're lovely and soft. You will find here, like I said at the start, mushrooms are very porous, okay? This technique of cooking is called sauteing. So once you're keep moving things, Truffle out. So, going up the heat a wee bit here. We're going to afford to go up the heat a bit. The shallots are not coloured, they're a lovely white colour, but they're still cooked. So, to me, this the mushrooms here are about three to four minutes off. That gives me time to start cooking my pasta. And we're working with our pasta, boiling salted water. So, good sea salt in your water. Use a larger pot. And then what we're going to do in a minute, once that comes out of boil, we're going to cook the pasta for three minutes. A wee tip for you too, when you're cooking pasta, fresh pasta obviously takes three minutes. Um, dried pasta can take up to 12 minutes. When you see this kind of froth come to the top of the water, that means the pasta's ready. Okay, so we'll get that to be second. We're sullying our mushrooms still, waiting for water to boil. So, got some Parmesan or Pecorino cheese, whichever takes your fancy. Get it grated on your small part of your grater. Get plenty of it because love that bit of cheese right on top of your pasta. I'm sure we all go back for the extra cheese. Uh, there you go. Just a little tip for you. When I put my pasta in, I got my knife. Point of a knife, give it a bit of a swirl. That means the pasta sort of stops sticking from each other. And then we're going to wait for that three minutes I talked about. Mushrooms are practically ready. So what I'm going to do is that you could do at home. Set them off the heat for now and leave them be. Okay, so pasta's ready, we've done our three minutes. Straight from the pot, because you want that lovely pasta water on there, and it goes. Some people will run over to the sink now and drain their pasta off and put cold water through it and stuff. No need to do that, none whatsoever. I've reduced my heat, this is really important if you can catch this one, if you're gonna make this at home. Reduce my heat from the sauce, because you've got, all you've got really here is egg yolks and cream and parmesan. If we go in there a really hot pan, we're going to have curdled eggs. So in goes our sauce like so. Starting off in a low heat. Because you can lose the sauce at this part if you overcook. So we'll start off in low heat. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start bringing the heat up a bit. But there's loads of heat in that pasta ready. As you know, it's just came out of boiling water. So touch it up a wee notch. This is nearly ready, everybody. We pinch of salt in there. Pinch of pepper. And then put a little bit of this in here. And then we're gonna go straight to our bowl now. So, look at that, fantastic. A little bit of parmesan on top. Okay, or so you have a little bowl beside. You add when you want. A little bit of truffle oil. Just to give that bit of perfume when it comes to the table, it has a lovely smell. There you go, fresh pasta, mushrooms, shallots, garlic, easy carbonara sauce. Why don't you go make another home?